Welcome back to Smoking Asphalt. I'm Terrence Orgeron. i show you what I'm working on at night. So on the last cruise in we went on, I had a pretty good sized bump, which loosened my inner fender well. So basically the front, I believe, came loose. It was rubbing against the tire to the point where it completely ripped off and almost took out a buddy of mine who was following right behind me, <laughs> Drake. That left my main wiring harness exposed here. And it looks like I might have had a little bit of rubbing, but I think I lucked out. We ended up doing like a hundred mile round trip that day and no issues besides losing the interfender well. See my UMI upper control arm and the strange single adjustable coilover setup. And my wiring harness is beneath because I did the wire tuck mod on this car. Went online the following day, and surprisingly enough, I found a replacement. Made in Taiwan, 13 bucks. We'll see how well it fits. All right, got all the zip ties cut. Boom, boom, boom. Show you what I'm working with here. So I got my main wiring harness loose. Zip ties are up in there. These little plastic pins. Retaining the original holes that held the wiring harness in that came across the top of the fender liner. Pretty trick called the wire tuck mod, uh, found on LS1 Tech. And it's awesome unless you lose your inner fender well. <laughs> but this is the only damage that was done. It was just to the electrical tape. So I'm gonna rewrap this and it'll be good to go. Rewrap it. Use the zip ties that I won at uh, one of my buddy of mine's tail, William Johnson. Spotted cat, Opelousas. It's the third Sunday of every month. So if you guys are in the area, you need to go check it out. Show you how I'm holding up the wiring harness. We got some progress going on. I had to double up the main zip ties, sadly, because they weren't long enough to go completely around with the single. I got that up. I'll trim these off. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll get to that inner fender liner. Okay, I got it in. It fits pretty good for something made in Taiwan. I had to locate some bumper plugs. One there, you need three of them. So there's one there, one there, and one there. Then did some self-tapping screws in the previous holes. One and two. And then this third one, I put a another one of them push plugs and we're good to go protection for the main wiring harness is back all right guys i appreciate you guys checking in with me tonight it is currently a quarter to two in the morning i just wanted to get this fitted on there man get it back on like subscribe if you want to keep up with this build right here i got a couple of little things, little updates, surprises coming soon. So stay tuned, guys.